Well, look who's here now. David Barnson joins us. What is your judgment of the Fed's performance? Raising rates and maybe no more. You know, I'm happy to talk about the Fed, but I love that last segment. I'll talk about faith anytime you want as well, Stuart. Oh, what's your as comment? Go ahead. The, Go ahead. I agree with Kaylee entirely, and I think my defense of markets that I do on the show so much is rooted in my faith. I believe that God made us all with dignity and his image, and that the a free market gives us a chance to be our best God-created selves in a world of freedom and opportunity. Hmm. Um, the Fed, by the way, speaking of freedom and opportunity, is doing a lot to hurt those things. And, and that's not a religious argument. It's not a theological argument. But economically, the Fed's distortions, their interventions, have hurt economic growth. And, and I'm not a Fed critic who wants to say that they're doing it on purpose or they have bad motives. I just think that they're operating off of a flawed model and it's doing damage. Is, is it doing damage to the market? Oh, I mean, it's certainly doing damage to the market, but it hasn't done that much damage sure. to the stock market. Most of the pain of last year was deserved in the markets because it was where things were way overvalued. All this high tech and crypto and just sort of uh, kind of silly bubble things. But right now, I think um, with the regional banks, small banks, this is definitely a byproduct of Fed policy. It was totally avoidable. OK, now we've got the regional banks in, under pressure again today. A bad sign for the overall market? Um, I think it's a bad sign for the overall banking market and how much of it trickles into the broad economy is what we have to wait and see. And I wouldn't give a firm prediction there because these things have a funny way of stopping when they stop. And I don't know. But I do know that the fact that it didn't apparently stop at First Republic has now gone into Pac West. It mm. looks like this domino wants to keep on going. Uh, not good. Oh, David, uh, we always come to you for a dividend pick, and you've got one, and that is uh, Simon Property Group. Actually, I bought into that some time ago when it was yielding at 6 or 7%. What's the yield now? It's close to 7%. It's at 6.9. And uh, the fact of the matter is that their rents are higher right now than they were pre-COVID. They just released earnings this week. Rents have grown 3.1%. They're at basically 95% occupancy. There have been some assets where like old Sears or JC Penney's uh, need to be repurposed and they're building thousands of hotel rooms and apartments. They just have really great real estate assets and they're generating a ton of cash flow with $9 billion of liquidity available. It's a stable company with a 7% dividend yield. The Mall Company, Simon Property Group, yields 6.9%. I'll take it. David, thank you very much for being here. I know we'll see you again soon. Gotcha. Thanks, Stuart.